thank you everyone for uh, for being here. Thanks, Brooke, for the opportunity. Like she said, I'm going to talk today about conditionally swapping out your Angular templates based on some condition. Um, real quick, um, uh, my name is Preston Lamb. I'm a full stack developer. I live in Utah. Um, I'm an Angular GDE, and you can find me on uh, GitHub at pjlam12, and then on Twitter and Instagram at Preston J Lamb. So definitely reach out to me and, uh, and um, I like interacting with people and meeting new people on, on Twitter. So we'll just jump right in. Um, so a little background. Um, I recently um, at work was, uh, we work in an NX workspace and um, we needed to uh, start moving some components uh, from our old design system, which was built on Bootstrap to a new design system that was built on Tailwind, and I didn't want to have to um, recreate all of those components. And we're going to use those, like we're sharing those components between two different apps. And one is already on Tailwind, and one isn't quite yet. And so I didn't want to duplicate all of those components and use them in two spots. And so I thought, well, there's got to be a way that I can, in app A, use Bootstrap, and in app B, use Tailwind. And then once we get app A upgraded, I can just turn off the bootstrap altogether and we'll just use Tailwind. And so that was my end goal was how do I get to that point? So I thought, um, I just thought I'd try it out and see what happens if I, uh, if I used a conditional statement inside the component decorator. And so uh, the first thing that I did was I went to the environment file um, and I added a, a new attribute like you can see here, uh, use Tailwind template. And in one app, I set this to false. And in the other app, I set it to true. Um, but in this example, we'll start with it being false. And then in the component, um, I just used a ternary operator um, in the template URL and um, imported the environment file. And if use tell in template is true, then I told it to use this component template file. And then if it was false, use the, the default one that was already created for me. Um, you can also do the same thing with style URLs if you want. And honestly, you could do it with the selector too if you wanted. You could use the ternary in all three of those situations. But um, I, for, the, for this example, I'm just gonna do the template URL. Um, and then if we look real quick at what the template URLs are, um, if, it's, uh, if it's just the default template, it, I have it say, saying that, that we're just using the default template with our old style guide. And if it's the new one uh, using Tailwind, then I just have this text on the screen. Uh, so uh, again, in my environment file, I have, oops, sorry. I've used Tailwind template set to false. Uh, so if we go over to the browser, we can see that this is the default template, um, the one that was generated uh, with the application. And then if I come in here and I change this to true, and we wait for it to compile and we go back over here, then now we can see that on the screen, it says that this is the new template with our new style guide or using Tailwind in this example. Um, and if you switch it back again, then um, when it recompiles and reloads, then we're back to our default template. Style, uh, default template. Um, this has worked really pretty well for us. I wouldn't necessarily do this all the time. Um, I would say that it's uh, it's best to do in kind of limited situations. Um, in addition, uh, one of the downfalls, um, let me change this back to true. Um, and then I'm gonna come over here to the uh, to the template uh, file that uses the Tailwind one. And I'm just gonna add a little more here. Um, I found that, and it might work in this one. Nope, it didn't. Oh, it did. Okay, so in, in our uh, NX workspace, um, when I would add, or when I change the, the template within the Tailwind file, um, it doesn't always update automatically for me. Um, and that might be the NX workspace uh, setup that we have. It could be the difference between there and here. But I have found that in some cases, the uh, language server doesn't always connect quite as well. So I don't always have um, auto complete and some of those things. But those minor inconveniences were worth it for us to not have to duplicate all the logic because this should be kind of like a temporary thing for us. And over the course of the next couple months, we'll be updating components and we'll be able to uh, use the new style guide. 
Um, and then once we're completely moved over, we'll remove the old one. So uh, it's definitely um, a, a viable option, um, but uh, I probably, I still wouldn't use it all the time, but it's worked really well. So if you are in the process of moving over an application, um, from one style guide to another, I would definitely uh, check out this option. And I wrote um, I wrote a blog post on this recently on the ng-conf blog, and then I have a demo repo as well. So I will tweet those um, right at, as soon as I'm done with this talk. So go follow me on Twitter, and you can uh, get links to the article and to the to the repository. And that's all I have. Thank you.